I said earlier that over 170 people made a level for VLDCX. This was so many that they never actually made a full collab hack out of it. So now, if I want to play them all, I have to patch them all one by one. So that's what I'm going to be doing this live stream. One by one until we hit the bottom of the list. There's going to be about 180 more of these. Oh, and I still have somebody watching. What the hell? Wait, where's number eight? What, what the? There's no number eight. I might just look at that later. I honestly don't know if that person's gonna speak up. I doubt it, but I'd like to know what happened to number eight and number thirteen. Okay, maybe it's better because thirteen's an unlucky number that that thirteen is gone. Right, so that's going to stay at the top of the list. I'm just going to put a dot in front of it. Might not even take 10 minutes if I just keep going at this rate. And I'm not going to name each individual file. I already have a list of... Oh, Loliyoshi. Let me just see this. So I'm going to just try five at a time and just open them all. Okay, maybe I didn't click it right. Can I cancel it? find that. I think I just need to do open file location and I'll get it. That is, once all that closes, so... It's, it's not gonna be in here, I don't think. Uh, what the hell is this? Besides the French greeting for hello. Okay, just give me a second. I'm gonna go look for flips. Where the hell is the tools? Where the hell is tools? Sorry. Oh, stream's still going, right. Why don't I just search for it? I think we found it. So I'm gonna select a bunch of them and see if this works. Open. Oh, 
Holy shit, thanks. Yep, there we go. I could have done this in under two minutes if I would have just known about this earlier. I might actually start playing some VLDCX entries because Loyoshi really helped me out here. I had no idea you could just literally click all of these and then floating IPS will literally just patch them one at a time, like one after the other. So I don't need to click on each individual one. It can just do them all at once. So now we're already done with that, so now I'm just going to get the stream set up and then we're going to start playing some of those VLDCX entries. Am I officially retired? I, I wouldn't say so, by the way. I might do a few runs here and there, but I'm probably not going to try and push for a PB quite as hard as I was a few weeks ago. Especially since I reached my initial goal of sub-2610. Yeah, it is. Now I just need to go and change the stream title. Because I didn't think I'd be able to do it that fast, because Lol Yoshi told me something that really just saved me, like, about 10 minutes. Yes, you can actually just click multiple BPS patches at once. You can select multiple at once when you're using the executable itself. And then just patch them all onto the same file at once. And it's just going to patch them one after the other. So now I'm going to get ZMZ on screen. Oh, Super Castlevania 4. I'm gonna have to do that sometime soon. Still hoping we get a tournament of that soon enough. Just gonna turn this up. Update the stream title. I have ZMZ open now. I'm just gonna do one more thing. Set the priority to high, and now let's just start playing these. So this is Yogui's, I'm not sure how he made the tile screen glitch out with vanilla resources. Yeah, these are actually all separate BPS files. These are going to be all separate ROM files, actually. Yeah, if you were to have compiled them all into one hack, you're going to have to move them to different levels for that to actually work out. That's pretty cool. Probably going to see a lot more of this, by the way.
I, I, I totally remember top 1 of 0, and in fact, I think I'm gonna make a counter for how many levels out of the 185 actually use it. Can I stop dropping frame frames though when I live stream? It's really annoying. Especially when I actually have a good audience watching. Like, six, that's alright. For someone who doesn't really advertise his live streams. You think 80%? Let's see. You might be right. Oh yeah, I don't know where to jump, by the way. I really didn't know where to jump. So that's how I get over there. Yeah, it, it never actually became a full collab hack. But you can still play all the entries, but you just have to patch them all to different ROM files. So I have 185 ROM files now because there was 185 entries in the contest. But I think some of them went missing, so I'm going to have to look at that later. Honestly, if some did, it wouldn't be too surprising, because how are you going to keep tabs on 185 different files? go up there. Yeah, I know. Let me just go and take care of that right now. It does this almost every live stream, actually. At least I'm not dropping nearly as many frames as I was before. Oh, now I see what I need to do. I got a shell jump now. Actually, no, I need to just avoid it. Okay, I could have done that if I wanted the one up that badly. Okay, so let's see just how many out of the 185 use one up zero. I'm gonna get a new sheet of paper for this one. Okay, hey, word made a level, really? ROM to work on their level with that was SA1. 
So these might all be SA1 entries, so... I don't think you'd be able to play these on ZSNES, I don't know. I mean, if ZMZ is gonna work, then I'm not really gonna bother seeing, like, if... ZSNES would work with these. So this one's by Luan Silva 12. Okay, that's an overworld. Dolphin Beach. It's alright so far. Alright, see you later, I guess. There's 185 of them, so no. was actually written. I'm, I see, yeah, several older music tracks I do recall breaking on ZMZ. Yeah, they cancelled it a while ago, actually. Yeah, they still somehow haven't cancelled SMWCP2. It's gonna bring me to another hack I'm gonna start a let's play of real soon. your username on SNW Central anyway. And I don't know when this list of names was compiled, so if you changed it, like, you might have to tell me your old username. If you ever changed it, that is. Oh, so that's why they're just turning around when they hit that pipe. A silver piece switch that doesn't actually make the monsters turn to coins. I've never seen that before. That level was okay. The most of these I'm probably not gonna have much to say about other than they're okay, I guess. Mainly because there's so many of them, and if I did this, I'd probably be here all... I heard they might release VLDCX this summer. In fact, I heard something about there only being the top 60 entries making it into that collab hack. Which I find that might actually be a good thing for future VLDCs, if they keep on being this big, somehow. If the next one is somehow even bigger than this one, or just as big. That's just gonna take a lot of work, actually. But that could have also worked too, maybe. It'll be less work to put the top 60 entries into one ROM file. It'll be less of a hassle to actually go and play it all, and... Let's just say if we did it that way, there'd be more of an incentive to place high in the contest so they could actually make it into the collab.
That would just mean bigger incentive to do a good job. So this one was by Mario World. Written in all caps with spaces in between the letters because, well, I guess he's a fan of that Mario creepy pasta. Okay, why did he send me this? No, he didn't send me this. He sent SNW Central this. Oh yeah, keep in mind this is Castle Number One. Castle Number One, and it's Spike Hill. And oh yeah, it's slippery just because. Fuck you. That still might not be that hard if there's going to be this many power ups in the level. This is all slippery, also. In case the spikes weren't enough. Oh, Freeland. Have I considered doing Cypher Route for CV3? I'd be more likely to try Alucard's second quest first, because no one has, well, at least for the American version, no one has put up a run for that category yet. I think the floating skulls was, was probably stopping them from doing so. Uh, if you're just going to make levels like this, then what's the point of me trying to beat them safe stateless? Okay, VLDCX probably could use that, but I can't see, like, one individual ROM hacker, one person, one man, or woman, or attack helicopter, making that many levels to need that patch. What the fuck are you giving me? Yeah, first century was pretty interesting. Yeah, you can still do creative things with Taiwan F Zero and all, but it's already been used so much, and I think I'm just gonna skip this level. If it's just gonna be more of the shit like this. If it's just gonna be more of that, I'm just gonna kinda skip over it. Was that actually the last door, by the way? Have any of you actually played that entry? Oh yeah, the one by Wakanda and Den. I've seen some screenshots of that one. I'd definitely like to play it myself. Whoops. Drop my pen. Mike Canis is running Cypha, yeah. I heard Comrade also got accepted to GDQ. With, I'm assuming, Castlevania 1. I've also seen him run the one on the N64, so maybe that's the one he was talking about. I mean, they're both just called Castlevania. So I don't know if it's the NES one or the N64 one, because I've seen them speedrun both. Okay. Yeah, I just can't get over how both those games are just simply called Castlevania. Even though they're two totally different games. Yeah, the N64 one was like the first 3D game. Now let's just get back on track here and play the entry by MSI 810. <laughs> Mars colonization, okay. I like how we somehow turned that little sparky graphic into a sun. Castlevania doesn't work in 3D. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way. That's another t one at zero level, so let's just do this real quick. That's two levels that use it now. Two out of four.
Oh, right, they're not gonna jump on that when they're on that tile. I've already played VLDC9. I should know how that tile works by now. Everyone uses it these days. I had a lot of fun doing that back, way back when, actually. I almost hid the normal jump button by accident. That was actually really close. Oh. I didn't think it would look this beautiful at night. That's top one at zero again, I can just only assume. I remember 1F0 was a mistake from levels never actually intended to use them. It looks like the dirt tile, but it isn't, so... You would then wonder why the hell sprites are just randomly floating on ledges. Now... I'm willing to bet that at least half the people use it in their VLDCX levels. Okay, I'm guessing that's one of those 1-up base midpoints. Turns out I might actually need it if the level's gonna keep going like this. Okay, you can actually go in that pipe. I mean, I thought the coins were there for a reason. Okay. If I just do this, I'm, I'm not going to make it. Okay, oh right, they don't move back up. That thwomp is glitching out, what the hell. Okay, so I actually did get away with just doing that, even though I don't- I didn't feel like that was gonna be intended. And it just brought- okay, it didn't send me that far back, actually. so that doesn't stop it from falling. Okay, how big is this level anyway? It just seems to go on and on and on. Okay, it's not that big. don't know like they didn't actually do a full-blown collab hack for VLDCX there was just too many entries and too much work for everyone to go through with okay so number four is by LHB Very danger lifts. Okay, and it auto scrolls.
this definitely feels like a vanilla level, unlike the one with all the 1F0 tiles. <laughs> what vanilla actually is, like, I kind of stopped trying to come up with a definition for it ever since I saw the Vaporwave world. <laughs> Because it's not necessarily about making a level that felt like something Nintendo would have made. It's more about just making a level only with whatever was in the original ROM, ha ROM file to begin with. And you can make stuff that no one would have fathomed being in the original Super Mario World. Yeah, fireballs would just shoot straight if you did that. Oh wait, Roberto Zampari made an entry? I'm gonna have to see that. But PMH is coming up next. Who? He's not here right now. Pretty sure he would have wanted to see this. Let's just hope it's good. Area 51, apparently. It is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander. It doesn't even look like Area 51 to me. It looks like generic grassland level. Where are the aliens? Well, I shouldn't be asking for aliens, this is a VLDC after all. Oh, hey there, Alex. I'm guessing everyone saw that 2608 run of mine by now. to next. Oh yeah, sub-26 in real time. It would be barely possible. You would need everything to work out. And, wow. Cut off ledge. Just cuts off into nothingness. Okay, so that was just a level. Might be MH. Are you an Eric from SMW Central, or are you just some Eric that... Okay, what did PMH do to the water? What did he do to the water on the right of this island that I'm standing on? Some of the seats just be flowing... The water's just, like, flowing into itself. Yeah, water can actually do that. Okay, so now let's see what Roberto Zampari did. Dark Cloud Castle. I wonder if it's gonna look anything like his recent ROM hacks, but just vanilla instead. Oh yeah, speaking of which, he made another Luigi's Misadventures hack. He made a sequel to Tsunami's Factor. I think I'm gonna play it, but I have something else lined up first I'd like to also take a look at. Nothing really worth mentioning because I literally just woke up.
love to hit. What was your name on SNW Central anyway? Or you can just let me know when I get to your level, but... I don't know how likely that's going to be, considering how many more entries I still have to play. I still have well over 170 entries to play, so... I might have to wait a bit for me to play your level, in all honesty. I always hate it when I can't see the ceilings, or can just barely see them. Depends on what you did. And what kind of ban you received, actually. Maybe you could build the level in the meantime? Yeah, I made that exact same mistake the last time. Now I have no power-ups going into this. I just seem to get a lot more viewers when I play this Super Mario related stuff. Even though I usually live stream Castlevania speedruns. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much did all this without the spotlight. I really didn't feel like I needed that badly, actually. Yeah, I'm a number six. I don't know what that door is for. So I'm just gonna fight Roy Koopa. idea where entry number 8 went, or 13, or 23, or 33, or 40, or 44. Random entries just disappeared apparently. I don't know, maybe like, maybe whoever archived them couldn't find them or something? <laughs> so this one was by Toad64 and I'm already getting... I, I already don't... Well, I, I don't know what to say about the level yet, but... I'm already getting some bad memories about a VLDC 9 level that was still probably much worse than what this is gonna be. Abstract Road. actually looks pretty. I'm guessing those are supposed to hurt you if you touch them, so... Don't touch them, then. This actually looks pretty with the different colored rocks in the ledges of the foreground. Okay, so that's what that is for. Where 
Where's the music? This could have been so much better if it actually had music. At least that is a moon that doesn't kill you. <laughs> Back when I played this, weren't, there weren't different floor tile colors. Nice change. Okay, so even the stems of the piranha plants hurt you. I just wish there would have been proper music playing. And then the music playing again. <laughs> so I'm gonna go see who made this one. If we're just gonna be skipping over Iron Fox Gaming's entry, I think we just skipped over it because I don't know where entry number eight went. <clears throat> I never really went to go look for that secret exit, so I don't know. So maybe I should look for the other exits, who knows? So if I just check the intro message, that'll tell me whether or not there's going to be secret exit. I, if I go back and do toads, I think it'll say secret exit yes or something like that. <laughs> okay, this was Super Stivy Boys level. I remembered seeing some screenshots of it. This guy's a fan of Vaporwave in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, this is a clearly made by a Vaporwave fan. Clearly. I just hope it doesn't go overkill with this kind of stuff. Like, I, I couldn't tell that that was gonna kill me. Where am I? I'm above some water and I'm on a dolphin. <clears throat> okay, this could actually get annoying if... Let's hope it doesn't get extremely annoying. Super bat? <laughs> Do you understand? That's some binary down there, I think. I think I'm gonna go try and translate that later. Because I wasn't expecting to see that. Put that through a translator. Now, where do I actually go? Oh, right, that's the door. <laughs> oh, that was a door. Okay, this could get really interesting.
It's all in your head. Oh, there's the other door. <laughs> you did it! Yeah, I know I did it, Super Stimmy Boy. No need to tell me. Shit, though. <laughs> Gonna move on to Windfish's entry. Okay, this has a secret exit and it's called Bowel Relaxation. Shout out to Vitor Villela, Lippy Crew, Ian, Level Engine, oh yeah, Raukau, Shy Guy Express, Nathan, KD, oh hey, I got a mention, it's about fucking time, fan judges, Glitch Mister, Falcon Punch, Eon, Pyro, and music by Torchcast, Wavy, and TCDW, and the actual judges, Frost, Lalyoshi, Deputy DS, Coopster, Noivert, and Torchcast. I heard one of them dropped out and Ramo's nephew took his place. Yeah, the SMWC user, not the actual character in the book, Ramo's nephew, and... Wait, what? I already got one of the exits? Not the character that the novel's named after. I just use this Goomba as a shortcut. <laughs> now I'm kind of stuck here. Actually, no, not really. looked at the hack section that much recently. Oh, invisible mushroom block. That might just be a map 16 top for all we know. I want to see if I can actually get to that door. Now I can't. Exclamation marks are there for a reason. So this is just for a one-up, apparently. <laughs> okay, so what's in here? Oh, a midpoint.
Is that actually the other exit? <coughs> entry. Let me know if this one's yours, actually. Okay, then. It doesn't look hard so far, but I mean, it's literally just started. Why do I feel like I'm gonna hit a giant wall once we get past this section? see what it's like. <laughs> I don't know how you'd exactly get that to work, by the way, but I think all I would need to do is just somehow get Yoshi to blue shell or just figure out how to jump across everything. see if I actually get it done. I don't know how he's gonna make the key appear, by the way, but let's just see. Okay, I think it had something to do with those moving clouds. I think he did a moving layer 2 trick or something. Now, I think I can just grab, like, one of those Koopas. I'm pretty sure I do have to jump across everything. scrolled over, see if I can do it this way, or if I might just have to do it legit. Let's just try and do it fair and square. So 
now what? There's nothing here. <laughs> Saw the midpoint, though. No, not exactly. It's been a while. Oh, but I got a cape, though. I might just use that to just do it super easy. gonna make it extremely easy by the way just using the cape I feel like there's a way to do it without it though because well I feel like you want to make a challenge for whoever wants to actually go through with this and they literally give you nowhere to jump Was actually gonna move right. Oh shit, that's a spiny. need to do here, but is it actually going to let me go through with it? I don't think it's going to let me go through with it. Nope, I didn't press those. I really didn't press those. There, they, I know there's a way to do this, just, yeah. For some reason it doesn't want me to do it right now. Oh yeah, what am I thinking trying to control this? It's probably not gonna work. Almost. If I get the disco shell, it probably becomes really easy. If I just get the disco shell, we have it. doesn't explain how the key is going to appear. I'm probably going to see it if I do it right. Probably just going to see the key there if I do it correctly. Uh, what? Yes. I actually still did it somehow. Uh-oh. I'm going to go without it. Wait, one up appeared. I touched the ground, but I still got the key. Does that count? I still touched the ground, and I got the secret exit. Does that no? I mean, it was definitely fun to give that a try, even though I took the easier way out. It was still good to include that as an option for someone who wanted the challenge. Like me. So I decided to take them up on it. I took them up on it and s technically beat it. Even though that message clearly said don't touch the ground, I did touch the ground. Yeah, I can still read by the way. So let's go on to Gamma V's entry. Koopa Troopa Beach. Can you get me if you just make a level where you don't touch the ground one day? Oh, those are 
are solid objects, apparently. Okay, that might be the gimmick here. Figuring out which shells are real ones. If there's a gimmick that can be had with this. Probably, but I never would have thought of it. doesn't work on Mario by himself, though. I know Mario doesn't aff get affected by the Thunder Sprite. Actually, it took me a while to figure that out, though. So that was just one of the many other VLDCX entries. I don't really have anything else to say about it that just pops up. A lot of pretty shell colors, but really, not much else to hit home with. I think we're also missing one of dudes' entry. So I'm just gonna jump straight to Eon's. Which has a secret exit. switches. I legit spent one day trying to come up with something to write here instead of doing useful use you, you sell you sell full stuff. That took him a day to write. And he, he didn't catch the typo. Same message. I like how the switch is like half and half, what the? Oh, I thought his level was called Moon House for a second, obviously it isn't. This is just the life farm. Hopefully I don't need that many lives. Hopefully I don't need 76 lives to do Chiruscada TM. Doesn't look like I will, but you never know. This is probably one of my favorite looking VLDCX levels so far. Except those blargs are kind of cut off when they just jump off some of the lava there. Looks great though, still, everything else. So that's what the switch is for. Either hit that, or you have to die right above the midpoint. If I made it there, well, if I almost made it there first try, I should be able to beat the whole thing without burning through 75 more lives. connected to absolutely nothing. Let's actually get the midpoint this time. Now it's just cut off blargs. Wait, is this gonna be vertical? Oh wow, this is gonna be a vertical section.
not too much you can do about the blocks with just vanilla resources, I know. Says I never tried doing anything crazy like this with the blargs. Okay, maybe you could have just its head for all we know. Idol did it once. Okay, so now he's just gonna walk into the lava and die. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite levels so far. I'm just trying to think, like, did any of these levels I've recently played use Tile 1F0? I don't think so. Probably would have recognized it by now. Let's go look for it, I guess. Yeah, I kind of forget there's secret exits in these, so... Let's see what we can do here. Oh, there's a good place to hide one. Okay. That's three now. I'm just gonna go see if what LHB level was again. See if it might use top one of zero. No, probably not in this one. MSI's did. PMH didn't. Roberto probably didn't. I don't know if Super Stevie Boys level use it. Not likely. Windfish. I don't think so. Let's just move on to Nahules Koba's level. Now Lescoba, I don't know how to pronounce that exactly, I'm not sure. Okay, I did patch it right. He didn't even tell me if there was like a secret exit or not, like if there are dragon coins or not, or moons. He didn't fill that in. This is my second attempt to make a bad and short level, really. Koopa, 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 Koopa. Ooh, some turn blocks. Nice. Okay, how do they make those appear? Considering I didn't appear, see them appear from the right side of the screen, then they randomly appear from the left side of the screen. What? That's it. That was awfully short. You're gonna have to do a lot more than that if you want to play as well in the VLDCs these days. Even back then, you probably had to do more than that. Sorry, that was way too short there. 
So I'm gonna move on to the entry by the Pat 545. That took like no time at all, pretty much. So, no secret exit, dragon coins, and moon. Alright. Now, how does Koba just skip that step entirely? So, I was thinking maybe for a second I didn't even patch it right. Gonna be a static land again. This music. I remembered hearing this in like one of the really difficult rooms in Yoshi's Strange Quest you could have chosen right at the end of the game. This has 1 F0 in it, so that's 4 out of... Why did I start out with notes? I think it's a mashup of those two songs. I do remember this from Yoshi's Strange Quest, by the way. Right near the end of the special world, there was a choice of three rooms you could have taken. This music playing in one of the three. This level's just all over the place with all these different tiles. Like, these purple castle bricks are solid, but the purple wood blocks aren't, but the blue wood blocks are solid. And these blue... Well, these blue wooden tiles, those... Those logs of wood that go diagonally, straight up, whichever direction they feel like going, those aren't solid either. And these these purple castle pillars aren't solid either. It's just all over the place. I guess I was supposed to just stand on this. Yes, on and off, really. Oh, there's more of this. So I have to bounce up even further than that. Oh, finally a midpoint. I'm just trying to figure out what I can stand on, what I can't. Okay, 
Okay, so you do actually jump there. Right. You can just run across those platforms. Okay, at least I got the midpoint, though. Okay, so that's how I get into that door. <laughs> yeah, something looked like it was very wrong. Oh, and there's still more. I keep thinking when I see one of those boss doors, I'm gonna be fighting some boss and that'll be it for this stage, but no. This leads to another room in the level. Up moon if I want to actually go for it. If I know how to go for it, that is. Also, wow, you killed the aesthetic fog nerd. <laughs> you defeat the boss, the moving brown platform will disappear. Okay, it's just a big boo. This isn't gonna be that hard, actually. I can probably easily do this. wasn't going to be hard as soon as I saw what the room looked like. That level was just such a clusterfuck. I could hardly tell what was going on. It took me a few tries just to get used to figuring out what was solid and what wasn't. Just trying to navigate that way. Just trying to navigate your way through that level. Especially the first few tries is a nightmare. At least I was able to adapt quickly enough, so... I was still able to beat it. So we're gonna go on to the level by Rizibara. No secret exit. Has dragon coins and a three-up moon, okay. I think I'll go here. See what this is about. Oh, nice palettes though for the Switch Palace. Looks much brighter than it did in the original game. <coughs> Tourist tip, you can spin and jump off of fuzzballs. This will come in handy on this dangerous bridge. Okay, maybe the maybe someone who played this didn't know that right away, who knows? Yeah, I do remember that they wanted the judging to be anonymous. And by doing that, that kind of defeated the purpose of doing so. is good enough, complex enough, go for it, but I'm not the guy to chase after story-based hacks because, well, oh, is that a secret down there? Is that a secret down there?
okay, I found something. Oh, it's probably just another dragon coin. Okay, I think they want me to go up here. Maybe that's just another bonus room. I feel like it is. That was just for another dragon coin. If you were looking for him. I like how he's been hiding all the dragon coins, though. It gives the level more replay value if you want to go for all of them, because... Some of these were actually... It was They were really well placed. Like, a lot of thought was put into, put into like where these would go. He gave it quite a bit of consideration, so someone's gonna get some replay value just from that. Even though I think I might have missed one. We did miss one, but we still got we still did pretty good. Especially since I found one by accident. I think we'll get to number 20 and then stop the stream. So we're on number 18, which is going to be by Jean Oliveira. This one has a secret exit, so I think I'm gonna go look for it. Thwimp Spiny's Tree. Oh my. So I guess the name actually does make sense. Okay, good background palette, by the way. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. Okay, he just went all the way up here. This would be a good place to hide something. Oh, another pea balloon, actually. Did we actually find the secret exit? I think we did. No, it's just some coins, apparently. Okay, I want that last dragon coin. But where's the secret exit, though? I'm gonna go back and look for it. I don't think there's anything back here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's nothing back there. Mm. Pipe. 
I think that's gonna be it though, by the way. You can't go in there? Really? Okay, I kinda want to look in there. I'm just gonna try all the pipes real quick. Okay, this one works. We could get to Yoshi's Island 3, which we can't, so we're just gonna go on to entry number 19 by Monkey Shrapnel. That's one hell of a name, though. Alright, this one has a secret exit, too. Okay. Covert Volcano. By monkey shrapnel. actually jumped up there without it, by the way. Oh, okay, that's a lot of plants. Into that pipe, I don't know. No, I'm probably not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna hit myself with the shell. You missed your entry, by the way. I played that, like, really early on in the stream. That was, like, the sixth one I played, actually.
figured maybe you'd want to see your entry get played again, so... I thought I would just throw that out there. Uh-oh. Can not just lose control? Okay, so there's nothing really hidden up there. It wasn't all that spectacular, I'll have to admit. find the pipe to actually go in to get out of that one. Okay, we're running short on time, so I'm gonna have to hurry it up. found anything that could have been a secret exit yet, but I'm going to keep looking. Just going to go back here so I can try this again. It's probably not going to be that simple, though. Sometimes, you, sometimes comments just get eaten up randomly. I don't know what that's about either. Yeah, sometimes comments just randomly disappear. I, I, I had nothing to do with that, I swear. Okay, that's probably gonna help. I'm still looking for a secret exit on this level, so I think that's gonna help me find it. Alright, that looks like something. Okay, I, they want me to take this warp pipe. I hope I found it. Oh, people in section again. This one's gonna look. This one looks like it's actually gonna be pretty easy. These are either really easy or really hard. They, they never seem to be like in between. Okay, it's just another goal post. I think that was the secret exit. Yeah, it was definitely the secret exit. So that was alright. Wasn't that hard to find. I think it just kind of skipped over it the first time by taking a warp pipe. So now we're going to do the entry by Super Wario 1999. 1999. Then I'm gonna probably end it after this one. And then come back to it later. I don't know how many more of these live streams I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have to do like at least another eight or nine just to do all the entries. Maybe even more if we get this really hard one or two or more. Trust Fall by Super Wario 1999. Oh wow.
I'm guessing you're not supposed to take that door. I always wanted to see a level based around this glitch. Expecting to see anything like this in the VLDC. This is pretty cool. Pretty challenging, but pretty fun also. Now, how am I gonna get through that really without getting hit? Am I supposed to land up here or something? Oh, oh. It won't even let me stand up here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to not get touched on those munchers. I can, I can turn this into a full-grown Yoshi, but I don't know what to do then. <clears throat> now I don't know what to do. But that's not gonna help me at all. Wait, what? One of the blocks randomly disappeared. <laughs> now I can actually get in there and get the Yoshi. Okay, now we made it to the midpoint. That was actually just for a dragon coin. Since I went out of my way to actually do that, I might as well take it. take another hit. Okay, how did that still hit me? Oh, sweet, a warp pipe. I wasn't there before. Oh, it's a handy little shortcut. I'm getting hit again. So th shit, that's how you do it. I just barely figured that out on time. Okay, I'm not getting that mushroom back. In fact, I'm not even getting in the pipe. What gives? I'm holding up. Still hits me. 
No, don't fall off the block. No. All right. Let's just get it right this time. Ah, oh, let me land on the mole, please. That 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 shouldn't be hard. I'm just passing through the top and the bottom of the screen. That shouldn't be hard. Okay, I actually got that dragon coin without getting hit trying to do so. Nice. There we go, now I got it. Not sure why it took that many tries. Alright, so... That's probably just for another coin. Might as well take it. as intended. I think I'm gonna eat breakfast now. Yeah, it seems like the best time to do so. So let me just get the next one ready though. The one by Yoshi9429 I'll do next time. Let me just take a quick peek as to what it looks like though. Might as well look at it now. No secret exit, and it's gonna be called Ruins of Grassland, and it looks like this. Alright, so hopefully I can find some more time to do this tomorrow.